Okay, today's video, I'm going to be tearing apart the uh, transmission in my Jeep here. This guy is some viewers need some help. And the tools that I've got for this is I got my hex head 1.5 millimeter, my 2.0 millimeter, and my 2.5 millimeter. And then I have my other kit here. This is really, it's actually pretty easy to do. I know for some people it seems really, really, really intimidating. But I'll show you what I know. And I know some people who watch this video aren't going to approve of what I do, but honestly, I really don't care. And then I have a little container to put all my screws and stuff in, the nuts, the bolts. So start by disconnecting the motor from the speed control. The other thing that I like to do is to take off the drive lines. See, mine's even really hard to, to push. It gets a little bound up also. What I, what I did find out that, that does help is if you take a little bit of WD-40 And you spray it in your drive line. It helps lubricate. All right, there's where I sprayed it, both ends. Well, that helps out a little bit. Still about the same. And these, uh, let's see if see this in the video. Okay. So these screws are a 1.5. Should be three of them. But I lost one, so I have a Phillips in there instead. CJ would be helping me, but he went to his grandmother's cabin for the weekend. Oh, I guess, I guess I still lost one. There, came off. Perfect. Tool back. Those are there. And what I believe that's a two two five. No, not two five. Two point oh. Here, and after you get that off, you'll have four screws. One here, one here, one here, one here. And these screws, I do believe, are different sizes. And I believe the longer ones go up here. So if you hold your truck just like this to where the servo is going up, I believe the longer ones go on the top. And it's easier to undo the drive lines from the, from the axles and pull it off as one unit by after, after taking off those four screws. See this? And my slipper clutch right there. See, it's flush. I like mine to be flush. Uh, you could take a, a piece of string, a piece of paper, or something, and put it right there and then make a little mark. Or you can get some calipers if you want it to be absolutely perfect. To me, it, 
if it's tight enough, it's tight enough because this piece does pop out and you can adjust it without taking it apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. It's 2.5 here. There's a short one. I might even put them in, put them, I might have put them in wrong too. But yeah, here's two different lengths. I can grab them. Not by much. See, and then the transmission just fell out. So I'm going to grab this. This is magnetized. Throw it in there. And I'll flip it back over. As soon as you do, drive lines fall off. What I have noticed is in here gets gets really rusty and really nasty. So I'm gonna take those, put them in my container. I believe the front and the back are the exact same size, so it doesn't really matter. So then we're gonna take the truck, throw it over here in my messy 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 shop and it's just really tight and then you got another hex head there throw it in there same thing for this side not too much play in there Okay, and to get this off, you can use your T-wrench, and you can count the turns if you hold it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a little twist. And then it just comes off, just like that, normally the middle uh, pieces stay. I don't really mess with those too much. Throw that in there, make sure you keep the spring. The nut. And after you pull that off, this part slides out. But what I like to do is so I don't lose this is actually just go ahead and twist it back on. And then here, you need your 2.5, take the motor off, and to just be safe, so you don't lose these, because I like to put them back in the motor. Bring it the thread. And then I'll just take my motor and stick it over here. And then you got four screws right there. So just go ahead and undo these. And I don't put those in the dish because I'm, I'm already this far and I don't have too much to take apart. And then the motor mounting bracket comes off. I'll wipe that on my towel here. Get it all nice and clean. And then I'll finish pulling this thing out. And then this plastic assembly is going to come off. You might have to take the... You will have to take the nut off the top of that. Put it there.
and then to get out the gears you might you might have to do it again once again the t-wrench will also fit on that and just slide it out this one is different from all the rest is it shorter the one that has the nut on it is shorter and I like to go ahead and put the nut back on there pull it out throw it over there so now the transmission is ready to come apart like so it's kind of dirty in there but what I'm looking for is I'm looking for anything chips or breakage or anything like that nothing on that one these are all uh, hot racing stock gears same thing look it over really good and they're really not hard to replace you just pop these three out Pull this out you might have to push a little bearing in there which isn't hard and you put it back together and there's a whole bunch of little holes in there so i got got my case checking my bearings we'll clean that up and this is what some people might not like about this video now i'm going to use wd-40 i got to find something I just don't want WD-40 everywhere. So bear with me a minute. So what I found was an old... Uh, measuring cup. I'm going to go ahead and throw that piece in there. What I'm doing is I'm going to swish it around all nice and clean. And then I'm just going to wipe it off. And you're not going to get everything out of it. Yeah, see, I need a new bearing. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not. But... That's what it is. But I'm just going to clean it up. I'm not really going to worry about it right now. Stick it over there. And then I am gonna take this apart. And I am gonna stick the nut over by the clean piece. And here's a bearing that's stuck. And then this gear slides off of the shaft, and there's a little teeny tiny pin. Just go ahead and set that over. Definitely don't want to lose that. So you want to get it all cleaned up a little bit with your towel and make sure that it's all nice and shiny so you can find it again. Same thing with this, you just wipe it off. Nice and clean over there. So now I have this gear, this gear, and this gear. And I'm just going to take WD-40 and I'm just going to spray them off. big one around then I'm gonna pull it out I don't know if you can see it on the video here here we go this is all I do 
Just gonna wipe it off a little bit. And then recheck. Yeah, I definitely need new bearings in that transmission, don't I? And then also this pin, it might come out with the gear and it might not. It might stay in the case, but you just pull it out with your fingers. Just wipe it off. We're gonna set it over there too. And we're gonna take this. This is the one that you uh, you have to push the bearings out of. How I do that is I take my tool. You don't have to use a whole lot of force. And you just barely push on it. Look at that, comes right out, both sides. And if, if you're gonna replace your gears, you just take out your old bearings or you buy new ones. And then we're gonna take it and then we're gonna wipe it off. Set it over there. And then the last one. Wipe it off. I guess I didn't check that one for defects, did I? Okay, well, it looks good. And then the same thing with this one. Yep, all looks good. Then I got this case. The other side. That bearing needs to be replaced too. I can hear it grinding a little bit. But it's not too bad. I'm not going to worry about it until next week. Spray more WD-40 on it. Flip it over. Do the same. And I should have done that with the other side. Get all that muck out of there. If you're going to be running through a lot of mud and water and stuff like that, then it'd be a good idea to take the transmission apart every once in a while and clean it and re-lube it. Swish it around. And then I'm going to dry it off. I'm going to go here to where this bearing is and I'm going to clean out a lot of this stuff as much as I can. There's nothing on the back side. Might have to scrunch up the towel a little bit. Get it in there. Okay. That's all done. <coughs> now if I can find that piece that I had. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm using uh, Lucas Oil product. It's an extra heavy uh, grease for ball joints and stuff like that. It's what I like to use in these little transmissions and stuff. And like I said, I don't really care if anybody agrees with me or not. It works for me. Take this bearing we have this little guy that goes back in the shaft we're going to take this and as you can see slide it down boom done and we're going to take this one this is the one that holds this slide that on and this bearing went in this side of the case go ahead it just slides right back in that the these bearings here seem to be okay it's just these bigger ones that are that are gone they're not gone gone but they need to be replaced then you just take this set it back in there same thing with this one. You might have to twist it a little bit. Make sure it's all locked in. Same thing with this. Boom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take some of this grease. I'm just going to 
just going to put it on there. And I know some people on there are going to say, that's too much, and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? You're not the one doing it. Plus, this stuff is going to help keep out the water. And just slide it back in. And pick it up. Boom. Done. Go figure I'd do that like that. There. And you're gonna have grease coming out. It's really not that big of a deal. So then you find your your screw with the nut on it. Take it off. Slide it in. You don't want to tighten it down too tight for right now. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up just a little bit. There's only one way this thing will go on. And then this piece will go on in a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and get this going on. You want to be careful you don't want to you don't want to over tighten everything but you want everything snug so after it's down and I can just barely move things just a little bit of pressure now I'm not really reefing on it and then I like to go like that like that Basically, I'm doing quarter turns until everything is tight. And then once they're through just a little bit, I like to put my finger here and I twist them back to where they're just about flush. Just about. My finger barely catches on it. I'm going to do that to all of them. Perfect. Where did this go? There it is. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this piece. You have to push down on the spring to get it started. Since mine was flush, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to twist it until it's until it's flush. There we go. There, 
right, now it's moving a little bit easier. I can definitely hear that those bearings need to be replaced. My motor. And there's little teeny tiny washers that you need to watch out for when you first take it apart. Normally they'll stick to the motor, but I think what I am going to do instead of putting that motor back in, if I can even find it. I'm actually going to put the stock motor back in it. No squealing. And if you do need to take this off, it is a 2.00. But it is definitely a lot easier to pull the transmission and the drive lines all out at once. And then that happens. Then I just tighten it up just to hold the motor for now. Then it still slides. Okay. And for mashing up the gears, uh, some people will use the uh, a piece of paper and they'll put it in there and then they'll press it down and tighten it up a little bit and try to pull and if, the, if you can pull out the paper without it ripping it means you're you're good that, that you have the correct spacing what I like to do let's see I got a little bit of movement in there just a little bit of movement that's where I like mine Everybody's different. I know guys that go and just go ahead and slam everything together. Just tighten them up. Now I'll actually move, I'll move it back a little bit. And I moved it to where it's pretty much flat right through there. Still got a little bit of movement in there. Perfect. And now for the drive lights. See how nasty these things are? Now I believe this pin right here, I believe it comes out. I believe it pushes all the way through. But these things are pretty dirty. That'll hurt performance too. And all I do is I just wipe them off on a towel. That's it. And then you try and get some Q-tips to do this. Wipe it out on the inside, and the drive line goes back together. Another thing I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in there too. Then I'm just gonna slide this guy right back in. Like I said, some people are gonna agree with me, some people aren't. It's kinda like one of those fights that you find on, on the RC forums about gears. I mean, if you have Traxxas transmission grease, by all means, use that. and That's fine. I just like to use a little bit thicker grease. And I'll just dip that in there a little bit. In there, twist it around. Then I'll get the pin stuck in there. Same thing. You do it both sides. You want to make sure that you have all these covers. These are the covers that went on to uh, the transmission side. And these covers went on to the axle side. You want to make sure you have all of those. Because if you don't, these pins will fall out. And then you're done. Until you make some or you buy some. But eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade to a different drive line. These drive lines are okay, but I'm gonna get aluminum or steel ones. And also that that little there's a piece in here that'll come out too. You want to be careful of that. That little guy will come out. You just slide it back in there. And it's got a hole all the way through it. So now those are clean.